I want to update you on the previous day's pourings. I don't know what um, video number this even is because I've uploaded it, but I haven't put a number to it. But whatever it is, it will be two days ago, so two videos before this one. Um, and I think it's pretty much dry. Um, it's from last night, but... Um, this MDF, even though it's primed, really sucks in the paint. Um, ugh, there's like a glare. I am in love with this, and I'm definitely going to be doing more black and white pieces. Um, they're just so elegant. I just love it. And then this will be uh, from yesterday's. Look, doesn't it look like there was a bloodbath? I mean, it looks like somebody did an awful job of uh, cleaning up after the kill. So this turned out pretty cool. You know, this had kind of some rocky moments in it. But overall, it came out really well. So I was going to, oh, here, I'll show you this. Look at that glitter. So pretty. I res um I put resin on this last night. Um I will have to do another coat because you can see right there it resisted um from silicone. The whole dang thing is perfect except that stupid little area. Urgh. So but um the glitter is like silver if you look at it head on, but if you just come across it, it's so sparkly and so pretty. And these two pieces are sitting here because they are going to, I'll be putting this on those ones. And then this We'll be getting a coat of um, resin. And I wanted to do, you can see up there, right by the lovely hole in my ceiling, I wanted to do a big canvas today, tonight, but I don't have, my two white containers are empty. And I already, it's getting later. And, um, I don't want to mix up a new batch of paint because I've already been down here for quite a while and I haven't actually painted anything. Um, I've taken some pictures. I've listed something on Etsy. I um, Then I started, oh, what, oh, I packaged up a painting to send off tomorrow. But then I started playing around with the video editor on my phone. Um, I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna use like where you send it into Snapfish or something. So they're just gonna be on photo paper, you know? Just what are those, five, or I don't know what size those are. Whatever a normal picture is. And um, so, did I move you out? Okay, so I'm going to, um, put those in when I send out paintings that people have bought. So I've been in putting my name and then adding funky um, editing, you know, the colors and stuff. So I got sidetracked doing that and spent like an hour playing with pictures and stuff. Um, two of them I put on my Instagram. So if you, if you want to see what I've been wasting an hour on, <laughs> I guess it's not wasting. It's just, I've got a lot to, a lot of stuff going on. All right. So the first time I did a mallet smash, which I believe may have been on here because this is glittery. <laughs> so whatever I wiped off of here had black glitter or black iridescent this is um mdf oh the back looks lovely um so it's half inch thick mdf um this appears to be maybe 14 by 14 i think 
And as I said, the last time I did a mallet smash, it didn't work. I honestly can't remember what went wrong, but I'm going to try it again. I want to say it was because I used um, one of the metallic -y craft paints and it kind of got all weird, which I've got that other black painting, which I'm going to show you guys too, because it will probably be painted over. But I just can't decide what I feel about this. It's so bizarre. Like, it's just so weird. So I'll probably be painting over this one. I'm actually going to put it over here. All right, so back on track. Whew, I'm like... Ugh, paper keeps curving up. Oh, and tomorrow I've had, I had a couple PayPal um, uh, donations and I put their names in my phone and my phone is what is, um, I am using to do this. Christina is one of them. Um, and uh, the other one, I need to look up your name. I am so sorry. But I appreciate it. <laughs> Every little bit helps so much. Ugh, and I forgot you can see me. Um, so my hair looks awful. <laughs> so hopefully you can't get a good look at what my hair looks like. I'm like halfway through my work day at school and I said to my coworkers, I'm like, why did nobody tell me that I look like crap today? <laughs> at least none of the students, well, it, it would, some of the students, um, thankfully no, none of them said anything either. I'm pretty sure students don't care what their teachers look like. All I remember is in fourth grade, I had a, a male teacher and I accidentally called him mom and it was devastating at the time. It really, really was. Oh, I just flung black paint over it. Now, see, the black paint, for some reason, either it's just more noticeable um, or it really is harder to, I'm having the hardest time getting it, um, washed off my fingers. I mean, my skin's really dry, so, you know, everything kind of soaks in. Especially since I'm doing pottery at school now. That's, that clay will dry your skin out like no other. Yeah, I was telling you yesterday, I think it was, how we've been playing in the, in the um, clay since their assignment is already done. So today I was making, today I made one of the kids a, a pizza and then we put toppings on it. And as I said, I just wanted to keep smoothing it. I did ask the pottery teacher, I'm like, can I bring home some clay and some of the tools? She's <laughs> like, sure. But I didn't. Can you imagine if I'd done that? God, I would never get anything done. Oh, I gotta get my torch. I was using it for resin last night.
So I was going to use magenta, metallic blue, and yellow for the mallet smash, but now I'm kind of wondering... Now I'm kind of wondering if I should do like copper. This is a whole mix of iridescent stuff and white. Gosh. Hmm. Because this would definitely be a more muted piece. I do I want the bright colors? Yesterday I put the magenta on in that one pour, which was a huge mistake. <laughs> Let's see. I am going to real fast mix up. I've got iridescent medium. a shiny gray. Let's see what that would look like. So I don't know if you could see all of that. The black and the white have already been mixed so this isn't really paint mixing from scratch. Um, but since I added the iridescent medium which is thick I will need to add some water. Um, which I have, of course, over, way over here. The way I have this new shelf, oh, there's the buzz, is I have totally blocked in myself. And I probably just added way too much water. But now I'm looking, and I don't know if I like the silver and copper Come on guys, answer me. I am seeing things floating like little dust. So now I know where it comes from. Because on the black you can see everything. <laughs> you can't on the white. All right, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna hold off on the bright colors. And if I don't like it, it's just paint. <laughs> I do like copper. I haven't used, I rarely ever use it. No, it was not too much white because it's actually quite thick. That iridescent medium is really um, thick. But it waters down very easily. Like some of the Artist Loft paints are pretty chunky for a while. Um, I've pretty much gotten, okay. I don't have a lid. Okay, I'm not gonna make you sit through me trying to find a lid. I'm just going to set it out of the way so I don't mallet smash on it. In it, I mean. So yeah, some artists love paints, like the deep red especially is really hard to mix. Sometimes if I know I'm mixing a lot of it, I'll do it the day before I want to use it because when it sits overnight, 
it's a lot easier to use. Okay, this looks super boring. Um, I need to add a color to it. Not even going to go look at the deep magenta because I keep using it and I keep screwing everything up. Um, give me a touch of red. See what happens. Let me torch the bubbles out of here. This whole thing is like that lacing that I like, yet I don't like it. I don't know why I don't like it. Well, that needs to. I think I'm probably going to scrape it. Let's see if, if I like anything when I tilt it, but I'm thinking this just isn't a style I like on the, with the black. Okay, that is looking cool, but let's see if I can... Gosh, I was hoping I could get that to break up like that. So far though, it's a, so far it's kind of a no-go for me. bottom one off because I don't like that one at all. It's not a whole lot of paint on this surface which is making it harder to tilt. What the heck is that? No idea what that was. It's gone now.
was going to say, it's not over till it's over, so. Let's keep this one flowing and it's flowing slow. <laughs> Real slow. needs a little help. Almost there. Or they want that part to be. I like this pink part. Looks like lightning. Well, the pink part doesn't look like lightning, but the painting as a whole somewhat does. Oh, shoot. The, um, the white negative space is a lot more forgiving. Which is interesting because a little black dress is way more forgiving than a white dress would be. But, I mean, I've already said how I only wear, pretty much only wear black and gray clothing. I like how it made some of the white um, jump out more. I honestly don't really know what to think about this one. I really don't. Oh, it's weird. Oh my gosh. There's like little black cells popping up through the pink, which are icky, icky. So I am just going to have to make that kind of That's too bad. That was a cool area. But it creeped me out with the um, black dots.
Hmm. I I don't know. <laughs> I will probably let it dry. Oh, you can see all the paintings on the wall. I'll probably let it dry. And then we'll see. It's just so different. Maybe that's why I'm having trouble wrapping my mind around it. So thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Catch you next time. Bye.